want to begin today's hearing by uh, recognizing uh, the fact that we no longer have one of our great members with us, uh, Sheila Jackson Lee, as we all know, um, passed away. She was a dedicated public servant. Her service on this committee, <clears throat> excuse me, spanned nearly three decades and included shepherding through countless pieces of legislation. I said yesterday at subcommittee hearing that I don't know that there was any member of Congress who got more out of five minutes than Sheila Jackson Lee did. And um, she was just a pleasant spirit who we all enjoyed. And um, we're thinking about her family. We all, we all certainly will, uh, will miss Sheila. I yield the ranking member for comments. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman, this room and our hearts feel a little emptier today as we mourn the loss of our dear friend and colleague, Sheila Jackson Lee. In the nearly 30 years that I've served with Sheila on the Judiciary Committee, I witnessed her boundless energy, her courage, and her character as she lent her voice and her legislative talents to nearly every issue that came before this committee. Whether it was advocating for just and humane immigration reform, working to protect voting rights and preserve <coughs> our civil liberties, or delving into the technical details of administrative law and property, intellectual property, Sheila was always at the forefront of our work. Sheila made perhaps her greatest mark serving as the chair and later ranking member of the Crime Subcommittee. In this role, she worked in a bipartisan fashion to reauthorize the Violence Against Women Act and to protect victims of trafficking, among many other successes. She was also a leader on such issues as sentencing reform, gun safety, police accountability, and racial justice. Sheila engaged in many spirited debates, but she always had the deepest respect for all of her colleagues, even those of whom she vehemently disagreed. And she deeply loved the institution of Congress, and particularly the Judiciary Committee, because it gave her a platform to make a meaningful impact on the lives of millions of Americans. If Sheila took up a cause, she could be relentless in her determination to see it through, whether that meant making one extra phone call, going to one more meeting, offering one more amendment, or making